Oh no, I think I just hit a car. Just leave. It's not like anyone saw you, and I don't think there's any cameras in this parking lot. What? No! You have to leave your insurance information. That would be the right thing to do. What would you do? Have you ever found yourself in a stressful decision-making situation like the one the young driver is in? You feel your heart rate is rising and your palms are getting sweaty. Do you find that you make the best decision in that moment or maybe one that is a bit more risky? Well, there's more to decision-making than you think. Over the years, researchers have discovered that bodily arousal can impact decision making. A poignant example is stress. When a person starts to experience stress, their heart rate increases, blood pressure rises, and each subsequent breath quickens. These bodily factors have shown to impact a person's decision making abilities. In particular, researchers Brand and Stark published a comprehensive review covering this very topic. They found that minimal bodily arousal can be advantageous to humans, but when it is too high, it can lead to more risky, slow, and even incorrect decisions when performing certain tasks. So in the case of our young driver under too much stress, she might decide to drive away in the midst of panicking. Currently, researchers are more interested in understanding how these concepts apply to people dealing with psychiatric disorders that cause hyperarousal, such as anxiety disorders and addiction-related ailments. In particular, researchers are keen in finding the neural pathway involved in an effort to discover better treatment options. Well, that wait may be over. A new finding by Rudbeck and colleagues uncovered a possible neural pathway that underlines how bodily arousal impacts decision making. To start, the researchers observed three rhesus monkeys participating in a task known as the two-choice visually guided task. In this task, the monkeys were shown two visual stimuli that were associated with different fluid amounts. They were made to choose between one large amount and one small amount by moving their hand to the left or right of the response button. Heart rate was used to measure bodily arousal and was tracked using an electrocardiogram. Moreover, it has been known that two important brain centers, known as the orbitofrontal cortex and dorsal anterior cingulate cortex, are associated with decision making. Thus, the neural activity of these centers were measured using single cell recordings with microelectrodes. At baseline, the researchers found that the monkeys consistently chose the larger fluid amount and that this decision was made faster when their heart rate was higher. They also noticed that some of the neurons in the orbital frontal cortex and dorsal anterior cingulate cortex would change in activity depending on heart rate. If the heart rate changed, the activity of a select number of neurons would also correspondingly change. This suggests that within these brain regions, some neurons were tasked with decision making while others may focus on bodily arousal. After establishing these baseline results, the researchers wanted to hone in on the possible mechanism involved when it comes to the psychiatric disorders that impair decision making. In order to mimic the phenomenon, in monkeys they lesion the amygdala, a brain center associated with emotional regulation and behavior, as perhaps dysregulation in the amygdala could play a role in psychiatric disorders. Moreover, the researchers knew that lesioning the amygdala would create a heightened aroused state where the baseline heart rate would be higher. Once again, this mimics the increased arousal documented in people with different psychiatric disorders. The researchers found that this heightened arousal hindered decision making in the monkeys, as the monkeys were now slower in choosing the larger fluid amount. They also found that some of the neurons in the orbital frontal cortex and dorsal anterior cingulate cortex that coded decision making decreased, while the neurons that tracked bodily arousal increased. Ultimately, they concluded that a heightened level of bodily arousal can change the makeup of decision-making centers, leading to disruptions.
This result is groundbreaking as it proposed a possible reason as to why individuals with psychiatric disorders may struggle with making decision at a neuronal level. So in the future, when more supplemented research is released, there's a possibility that clinical treatment for psychiatric disorders can address this change in the neural makeup of these decision-making centers. Just to recap, the researchers found that after the amygdala was removed and a heightened aroused state was set, the monkey's decision-making processes were hampered because they were slower in choosing the larger fluid amount. They also found that there were less decision-making neurons and more arousal-based neurons in the orbital frontal cortex and dorsal anterior cingulate cortex, showcasing a neuronal change in decision-making centers, which the researchers propose as a possible mechanism that underlies certain psychiatric disorders.